Hi, welcome for our RTL online trainings and placements. In this session, I'm going to explain you how to find the documentation for our Oracle Cloud technologies, which is very important before we start training an Oracle Cloud, either functional consultant or technical consultant, or during the training or while preparing for interviews, even while working in the project also. Documentation is very, very important. Excellent documentation is given by Oracle Corporation. Oracle Corporation has provided an excellent documentation. Reading the documentation is very important and mandatory for functional consultants, especially. Because when we are working in the project, if you want to configure the application, means if you want to do the setups, you are supposed to go through some 30, 40 pages of uh, requirement gathering documents and we are supposed to prepare and we are supposed to use the functional words during the documents preparation. When I say functional words, whatever the Oracle terminology we are using that we are supposed to have in our documentation. How we can improve that skills and in the cloud is we have to go through the documentation. Let's start uh, no, uh, going through the documentation, it's a side by side. The moment when we learn any concept, immediately we have to go for the documentation and go for, uh, read the documentation, try to adopt the terminology of Oracle. Okay, so let's go to the Oracle OER. Oracle Enterprise uh, Repository, OER. Okay, let me go back. Oracle Enterprise Repository for Fusion Applications. Here we can find Oracle Enterprise Repository for Fusion Applications. Sometimes it will take. Okay. So there are two options here, search by product in the cloud, search by product in on-premises applications. On-premises means we are going to have this particular application on the client's server. And the client can install this Fusion applications in their server and they can go for start working applications. It's very few clients will do it. Maximum Fusion applications is cloud only. Select cloud applications. When we go for cloud applications, what system is showing us here? Do you want to go with ERP, Enterprise Resource Planning, means financials, procurement, enterprise data management, supply chain management, human capital management, which one you would like to go through here? So let's say we are going ahead with now procurement. Choose this procurement. We can find ERP here. We can find supply chain management here. We can find human capital management here. Supply chain management, of course, it includes the procurement, but procurement is a part of our uh, ERP also. It comes under financials a little bit. So now we are going ahead with this. Choose procurement. Now what system is showing here? This is a procurement documentation 23B. We know that uh, Oracle Fusion Applications release is release 13 which version of Fusion Applications we are using, release 30. And then what is the update? Update means every year there will be a four quarters, A, B, C, D. Right now we are in May 2023, it's a second quarter, B, right? Every quarter there will be update in the product. So across the world, whenever we are working for the clients, we'll be working with the same version. For example, if we go for an interview, if they ask you which version and which update you are working, release that in 23B. So every client has to go for uh, upgrade their uh, update in, into the latest here. So even if that is a, if client is not interested, Oracle will do that particular one. Okay. So let's go to all books here. Select all books. 
the moment when we choose all books, we'll find uh, initially getting start with the cloud. What is cloud? What is uh, Fusion applications? How you can manage the cloud options here? Then here we can find user guides. Here actual implementation guides we can find. This is required for technical consultants as well as for the functional consultants. How to implement procurement module for the client? How to implement the enterprise structure for the client? How will you configure the FSM, functional setup manager? Means uh, implementation, project creation, this all we are going to perform here. How you can go for perform. So these are the user guides required for our procurement module, for our procurement module here. There is something called administration. This is related for admin activities, which will be taken care by the Oracle in the cloud environment. We don't need to worry about that as functional consultant. Yeah. And then configurations and extensions will be done by the technical consultant by working with the idea of personalizations, face composer and all. Regarding the security, somewhat functional part. Uh, some of the functional things will will find in the security like roles creation, roles customization, data access. It's our responsibility we'll be doing that as functional consultant. Development. Development is uh, purely for technical consultant where the technical guys will be working with the uh, APIs, the REST or SOAP APIs uh, by using REST or SOAP APIs. Technical people can go for extract the data and load the data, data exchange between the applications in, within the cloud here. Yeah. And there are uh, some tables and views uh, for common users and tables and views for a particular module. Right now we are in the area of procurement module. That's why I'm able to see procurement module tables. Tables generally not required for functional consultant, but sometimes when we apply as senior consultant, they may expect uh, some of the important tables like supplier tables, uh, and purchase order tables like that, but not the queries writing, just table names, okay, not more than that. So this is how uh, we can go through this particular uh, documentation in cloud applications by selecting the particular environment. So this is very important. Uh, as a functional consultant, it is a mandatory practice going through the documentation, okay, with its mandatory. For example, today we have talked about procurement module, purchase orders we have discussed. So what we have to do, we have to practice a couple of times purchase orders in the application. We have to create purchase order, approve the purchase order, cancel the purchase order, copy the purchase order practically, and we'll go to this uh, HTML option. Let's go to HTML. And here there will be a documentation about the purchase orders to learn more information about the purchase orders here. Because in our training, We'll go through mainly interview point of view as well as the documentation means project oriented we'll be discussing in the trainings. Okay, Any trainer or any institution generally will go in that way. Interview point of view as well as the project work point of view. But whenever we wanted to improve our skills related for the product point of view means we want to gain more knowledge and all then we will be working here in the documentation. Okay, So Every page, sorry, every chapter will have the detailed information. Excellent documentation as given by the Oracle. So I was talking about purchase order, common procurement configurations here, procurement document numbering, how you can define purchasing order numbers here, how it can be specified. Here it is. So it's as in setups. Electronic signature, how to configure electronic signature in the documents. Yes. So almost all the features which are required for the current business scenario, Oracle has provided all those features. We can go for configure it. Okay. Fine. Thank you.